Hey everyone, Mitchell with Magical Keys Vacations here, and today we're talking pin trading. So I'm going to show you some clips from our Disneyland trip where I do some pin trading. And then once you see all those, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you all the pins in person, just in case they didn't get on film. Alright, have fun, and if you want, you can always skip ahead. See you soon! Hi guys, so we're going to do some pin trading today. Um, I found it's the princesses and a castle shape. Um, surprisingly, there's seven pins here. It's $29.99 before tax. So I think it turned out to be like $32 something. Um, always make sure you're looking at how many pins come in the pack if you're going to pin trade and how many you want to get rid of. Um, some of the five packs in there were $35 instead of $29. So it was cheaper to buy a larger pack. And as cute as they are, I don't mind getting rid of all of them. So let's see what we find today and follow along. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that one can stay. I already have that one. I was just disappointed at it. Oh, I can do two, can I? Can I do? Huh? It's two for And I also do that one of the sisters. Ariel sisters? Cool, let me do that one as well. Awesome, thank you. You hold it up. Yeah. Hold it up like this way. The glare. Perfect. Thank you. You excited? Yay. I like Moana out of all those. This is your game, not mine. Moana. Moana. Yeah. Okay. As you can tell, it's kind of hard to hear, um, but how this went was I had to try two different songs to get the lyrics exactly right. Um, it's a super cool idea, and it was a lot of fun. So if you ever see Jasmine um, over in Tomorrowland, check her out. You have the aerial one? Great. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 2002. I love that. Awesome. Show the camera. Wait. I love that. I got this one too. Oh, that's a little. Um, Give me the original one in your hand. Um, it's from. Is it Advent Plan Number 7? Limited Edition of Advent. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Somebody just had it in the box. So I was like. Nice. So. Thanks for hand trading with thank me. You. Oh, thank so you. Thank you. Bye.
Thank you. Thanks. Oh, funny enough, I actually have both of those. And the hat. I like Tinkerbell and Peter Pan a lot. Ooh, can I trade you for the sadness? Sadness? Yeah. Whoops, I dropped it. Do you take a double pin one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-seven. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> what do I win for finding a match? <laughs> <laughs> and four. Ooh, do you want that one? I just picked numbers for you. I'll get that for you. Let's trade this one for Lucifer. Lucifer. Goodbye. Oh, you have the pin back on it. And hello. Thank you. Thank you. everyone so we're gonna take a look at the pins that we got we're gonna start with the lanyard that still has um, all the pins that we've traded on um, all right so I got a couple of Ariel sisters and they have that little silver Mickey which means they're from the mystery boxes um, I got a flounder and if you look right here you can kind of see some color bleeding <laughs> Um, I think he's actually a fake one. I know somebody commented on one of our pin trading videos about how you can also get um, pins from like an eBay lot, which is a great way to get lots of pins, but they can sometimes come out to be fake. So I'm guessing that's what happened with this one. Uh, and then if we scroll ahead, we got a little cute Tinkerbell. You know I love her. And then we have this blue Tinkerbell as well. And then look at Sadness. We love Sadness. Got an ooh, Lucifer. Let's see. There we go. Got a nice focus. And then this is the tink we got from that awesome cast member that had that fun quiz. Super cute. Um, we got Jack Skellington. I think I already had him before we went. And Jafar. Um, and look at those cool tink pen. It's like nice, big, and chunky. So those were a lot of the ones we traded for. And then you know we were at D23. Um, if you've not seen Strange World, you need to because it's awesome. But at that booth, they gave us um, a limited edition pen from there. And this one is, um, it's not a Disney pen trading official. It's just super cool. Um, and then we also got this at D23. Um, again, not Disney pin trading normal pins, but again, super, super cool. Um, and we also grabbed some limited edition pins. Um, so when you're buying pins in the park, if you see them on the walls, they're typically not like limited edition or they won't run out. Um, but we got to go um, to Mickey's of Glendale, the pin store. And we got two of the limit editions, um, which are super cool. They're from Inside Out. 
Um, so if you've not been to D23 or Mickey's of Glendale, the pin store, um, the way it works is you have to reserve a time at D23 to get in to purchase pins. Um, and we actually had one the first day, but we were in a panel, so we didn't make it. So we went later, and there was only three pins left, and we got two of them. Um, now we also got an awesome Alice in Wonderland. That's a limited edition. If you look in the video, there's two pins. Um, we got that for one of our friends who also loves pin trading and got me into it. Um, and we got a limited edition Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Love this one. They had a few of these. Um, also got another one for her. And then, so this isn't a pin trading pin either, but we just thought it was super cool because um, it's a little Mickey from the Imagineering studio. And then there was a fully gray one as well. Um, now, recently, Michael ordered these off the website and didn't tell me. But look how cute these are. Yeah, you have two different Mickeys. Um, as you can see, there's a series of 12, and this is number seven and eight. So it's Dumbo the Flying Elephant, and then Prince Charming. So super, super cute and fun. All right, guys, that's all the pins that we got from our trip. Um, let me know which ones you like below and, of course, which characters you like. Pin trading is so much fun. It can be a little expensive. So, again, use that tip of trying to get um, seven or eight pins and then use that as your trades um, while you're there. It'll help save you money so you're not buying everything under the sun. And, of course, if you use that eBay trick of purchasing a lot, just be very mindful um, to kind of check them out, make sure they're not fake. Um, if you see anything that seems skeptical, try not to take it into the park just so you don't trade it to somebody else. Um, let me know what tips you have for pin trading. And that's it for the day. So thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you later. Bye!